Hello, I'm Atuba George, and we are still on 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. Let your glory be revealed in our hearts as we hold on to your truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Now, we, we are in verse 40, verse 40, 1 Corinthians chapter 15. It says, there are also celestial bodies and body terrestrial. But the glory of the celestial is one and the glory of the terrestrial is one. There is one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon and another glory of the stars. For one star differeth one from another star in glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. Did you see that? So the, 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 the body is sown. So he said, don't start imagining that uh, when somebody dies and then for him to rise again, you have to gather all the dust, all the flesh, everywhere it has dispersed. To, you know, it, it, when, when, when someone dies, the, the skin begins to germinate and, and stuff. Uh, and the skin begins to disintegrate. So it has to be that same place and gather all together. You remember the vision Ezekiel saw, uh, the valley of dry bones in Ezekiel 37. Yes, it was a valley. And there were bones scattered everywhere. And God told him to prophesy and command them to leave. And he prophesied. And guess what happened? He said there was a noise, there was a shaking. Bone began to move to his own bone. See? The ankle bone did not go joint to another person's uh, uh, ligament. Ankle bone looked for its own. Every bone was... It, they, they, that's why there was a noise and a shaking. There was a divine arrangement until there stood up a great army. See? So God knows perfectly what he's doing. It's not for you to start imagining. So I, I don't get high school. Hey, hi, hey, hey, have you thought about this? Now, even today, angels come to the earth to do things. I mean, you can see angels physically. Some of you may have seen them. I have seen them. See? Now, they come to do things on the earth. Now, not just me. I've heard testimonies of people close to me who have seen angels. I mean, this, these are beings you you just know this is an angel this is not oh no i'm not saying someone was kind to say you must have been god sent you're an angel sent to god no such people you meet them you may never see them again ever you try to trace the address you can't find the address praise god see now now when they come like that you need to understand this because you see this in, in scriptures also when they come like that they take on human form now, when they take on human form, they will get hungry. They will feel everything. If you pinch them, they will feel the pain. Yeah. See? So, so that's why angels can feel sexual urge. You remember in the book of Genesis, they just decided one day, say, man, you know what? We're going to start having sex with human women. And they did that. And of course, the moment they do that, they lost. They can't, they can't transform into their celestial bodies again. See? So they are doomed for judgment. Of course, in no time they die. And then that's it. Now you wonder where evil spirits come from. Until this day it's happening. Praise God. Now so, yeah, verse 43. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown in natural body. It is raised in spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. Did you see that? There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. Now watch this. And so it is written, The first man, Adam, was made a living soul. Ah, yeah, Bushi. You need to get this now. The first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. 
this is this alone is a teaching i've done a teaching on this you know, somewhere i think you can find it on youtube the last adam and the first adam i don't want if i if i say make a statement on that teaching it will make us digress <laughs> so but just know it the first man was a living soul not a living spirit he wasn't a spirit Adam was in the spirit being. He was a living soul. Now, it says, The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. How be it? That was not first, which is spiritual. Did you see that? But which is natural. Or kind of, that's fleshly. And afterward, that which is spiritual. So the flesh, the natural one comes first. Then the spiritual one comes next. The first man is of the earth. Earthy. He was made from the dust of the ground. First man is talking about Adam. The second man is the Lord from heaven. Mm. I said if I make a statement on this, we're going to digress. <laughs> it's good. So I'm trying to hold myself here. Guess what? Just, just follow. Let, let's just stay on this part now. Mm. As is the earthy, such are they also that are earthy? Adam, just the same frame of Adam, is the same way those who are earthy, they are. And as is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. Okay. Watch this now, verse 49. And as we have borne the image of the earthy, have we borne the image of the earthy? Yes, we have. Because we all came from Adam. Do you get that now? We all came from Adam. Now, okay. <laughs> Lord, help me. As we have borne the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Remember, Jesus said to Nicodemus, except a man be born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. See, and then Nicodemus has said, how? Jesus said, because that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. So if you were born in, of the flesh, you are flesh. You're not a spirit. You know, people say, man is a spirit. He has a soul. No! Man is a living soul. It is the man that is born again that is a spirit. Ah, yeah, both shaky. You see, when the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. You need to understand what he's saying. He is not the same like the former man. This is a new creature, a new species of being. What makes him a new creature? Because he is now a spirit. Watch this here. It says, And as we have borne the image of the earth, we all have borne the image of the earth, that which was born of the flesh. We were all flesh. Then he now says, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Not when we get to heaven. Right here, we are spirit beings. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Neither do corruption inherit incorruption. Flesh and blood don't inherit the kingdom of God. Look at verse 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. Paul had a witness that this is true. But we shall all be changed. Whether you sleep or you don't sleep. Now sleep means die. We say we will not all die. We will not all die. Not everyone will die. I say everybody must die. Who, so who said? Who said that? That's evil communication. You know, you hear statements like, everybody wants to meet God, but people don't want to die. Who told you you have to die to meet God? I mean, common, simple logic. You can be alive and God will come and meet you. Ah, no, no, I'm talking about going to heaven. Yes, it's not everybody that have gone to heaven. That, in fact, those who have gone to heaven did not die. Oh, yes, Elijah went to heaven. He didn't die. He not going to heaven. He wasn't dead. See? Moses, Jesus himself went to heaven, not as a dead man, brothers and sisters. He had to rise from the dead first before going to heaven. Mm. So it says, Behold, I show you a mystery, we shall not all sleep, 
but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruption must put on incorruption. Did you see the word must? He's telling you the process now. You see this corruption? It must put on incorruption. And this mortal, to let you know, is not talking about spirit things. And this mortal must put on immortality. You know, you know what Titus said? Titus said he has brought life and immortality to light. I wonder what happens to you when you see scriptures like that. You just wave it off, say, no, no, this is not talking about us. No, you, need to look, you need to look at scripture and go before the Lord and say, Lord, I, I have a problem with this scripture. I need it to explain. Jesus, you said the Holy Spirit will guide me to all truth, right? Holy Spirit, oh yeah, I need guidance into the truth of the scripture. That's what you do with things like this. I don't want to tell you what I think. <laughs> Praise God. Not, not right now. But watch, he said, so when this corruption when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written. So this thing has already been written. Oh, she lege balaga da 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 dash. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? Ah, he said. Ah. We are surely going to show victory over death. That's what Paul is saying. We are going to display victory over death. So he says, when this happens, now how is this going to happen? You know, we think, it, we're all waiting. Maybe that generation that will hear the sound of the trumpet. When the trumpet says, pam, 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 like I told you, it's going to be the shout of an angel. The angel is going to shout. And I told you that angel is not just sitting down, waiting. The father was the angel. I'm tired. I think it's time. Oh, yeah. Go and sound the trumpet. And then he, no, 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 no. He is waiting for every of his enemies to be put under his feet. So he is, has this, he is sending his word. Are we rejecting his word in this generation? No, 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 no. No, no, I will not reject his word. I will receive his word. I'm receiving his word, every one of it, settling it in my heart. And I'm looking up to him for salvation. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And so one day, one day, that angel is going to shout, It is done! And as I says, when this thing happens, then shall come to pass the saying, Oh, death, death is swallowed up in. We will see death eyeball to eyeball and tell it, Death, you know you don't have power over me. Please sit down there. A, a, a season will come when we will begin to, Oh, I'm, I'm tired of living on this earth. You know, I want to check out. Oh, you want to check out? Where are you going? I'm trusting God. I'm asking the Lord when he's sending, sending my own chariots. And then people will begin to ascend. I'm not talking about... <sighs> Can we read the Bible? Mm. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin. And the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And I've got to stop here. Praise <laughs> God. Meditate on these things. Let the Holy Spirit open your eyes. Let him open your understanding. And let me tell you the truth. These things are not done trying to be studious with, with scriptures. These things are done through prayer. Praying. Prayer and fasting. Ask the Lord to reveal his truth to you. Take out time to fast and pray. I don't believe in fasting. Continue. You will be all flesh. You will not fulfill this. But when you seek and begin to... Begin, you, ah, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> God bless you. Bye-bye.